So first, uh, what is Feedvisor? Feedvisor enables uh, e-commerce retailers to achieve above the market performers uh, when uh, we optimize their ability to operate on marketplaces uh, in the conditions of very complex and dynamic markets. So, so let's talk a little bit about online commerce uh, and where actually do we fit into the picture. So one thing that is extremely interesting is you see all this graph, and this is pretty negative, and, uh, but in fact it shows the, the positive sign as well. Uh, we see the retail closing. Now, retail closing typically would happen uh, during the crisis, and then we indeed see uh, beginning of 90s, around 2001, every time there was a crisis. But then we see 2017, which is, was super, uh, super successful year, economy is growing, everything is good. But then we see such a huge number of the online retailers basically closing their doors. And at the same time, we see Amazon, they're doing extremely well. Uh, they not only expand their online presence, but they also create their offline presence. Why it's basically happening? Uh, we, we look into the online commerce, and what we're seeing is we're seeing on the opposite side, we're seeing the I mean, uh, tremendous growth of the online commerce uh, that basically corresponds to the decline of the offline. But, but what's interesting is, you know, like George Orwell, said, George Orwell said that everyone is equal. There are some people more equal than the others. That's the case with Amazon pretty much. There isn't uh, online commerce, but there is an Amazon that captures close to 50% of US commerce. Amazon is incredibly, uh, incredibly growing in Europe as well. So, so what happens is we're seeing a migration from what used to be offline commerce to online to marketplace. And when you think about the marketplace, you need to think about this as a massive equivalent of a stock market, but for tangible goods. And this is basically what happens. Uh, what we are seeing is we're seeing an industry called e-commerce that going after financial industry in, in the form of if de its development. Uh, if we think about the financial industry from the, let's say, 80s and 90s, when we saw people on the trading floor saying, okay, $20, $22, it's hard to imagine today because it's all data centers, it runs in the fraction of microsecond. But only like 20, 30 years, that was the case. And this is exactly the case where the e-commerce is uh, going today. It simply follows the path of the financial markets. And the new arena, the new market where it's all happening is actually the marketplace. So what really happens in the marketplace? Is it easy to transact on the marketplace? We're talking about uh, billions or hundreds of billions being transacted on the marketplace. What it means to, to transact on the marketplace? It's actually incredibly complex. And we're seeing brands, we're seeing uh, private labels, we're seeing uh, resellers of uh, commodity products, we're seeing resellers of exclusive products all of them dealing with extreme complexity. So the complexity coming from the fact that they need to look into the pricing. And like in the stock market, there is a big competition around pricing. If any, uh, I guess many of you have uh, purchased products on Amazon, so you probably know that there's quite a lot of competition out there. Uh, the second thing is uh, there's a complexity around shipping, and there's a complexity around fulfillment, and there's a lot of complexity around fee structure. And there is very complex to calculate what actually makes profit and what's being returned. How you really deal with all this world? So how are people dealing with it today? The way they deal today is by basically buying some sort of narrow vertical solution. So if you, you have a problem with pricing, you're buying a pricing software. You have a problem with uh, your portfolio, your product analysis, you're buying portfolio analysis software. You have an inventory you're buying an inventory. The problem is this is very siloed approach. You're only looking at a portion of the picture. You never see the whole picture. You never see the optimizations. And the optimization happened in all across. So let's take an example. Let's say uh, you have a warehouse, let's say, in New Jersey, and you, 
uh, you're selling all across US, and then you figure out that the significant amount of sales coming from New York. Now, when the significant amount of sales coming from New York, you can ship ground. When you ship ground, it's much cheaper than shipping air. If you can do a certain amount of savings on shipping, then you can pass these savings. So you can pass the savings into pricing, you can pass the savings into advertising, then you can actually win the market because now you're leveraging the fact that you have unfair advantage. And you have unfair advantage of being in high proximity to your customer base. So this is an example of where businesses can really optimize themselves. They can understand that there are certain areas where they can have an advantage. They can have a product which has low returns. They can have a better access to certain suppliers. They can have better ability to ship in a, in a particular area. All this results in, in the fact that they have an advantage. And now they need to realize this advantage in other verticals. That's a big problem. Uh, it's far from simple. In order to do that, you really need to have some sort of uh, AI technology approach. Very similar, again, in the financial industry to the algo trading. And this is where Feedvisor actually took its uh, inspiration. So you start by the fact that you need to collect a variety of data. So you collect data from all the areas, you combine it together, you consolidate it. Once you consolidate the data, then we can enable to people to make decisions like where to sell, which products to sell, which products do well and which products don't well, by looking into the all aspects of trade. And then based on these decisions, we can then execute them in a fully automated way, exactly how the algo trading uh, powerhouses execute in the financial space, in the stock markets. So how it really happens? Uh, it happens by basically using the framework uh, that starts with the analysis. We collected all the data, we present it to you as, as a retailer. You can understand the data, you can understand how things are performing, how, which products are better, which products are worse, where you have an advantage, how you need to formulate your strategy. Then we're using a strategic framework because we use, we're working with a lot of various sellers, a lot of various businesses, so we can help to interpret the information in the way that this common knowledge can be translated to your particular experience. Once that's achieved, then we move to the execution. And then there are certain algorithms that run in real time and take actions for you. So you, you define the decision, this decision being uh, translated in a particular action, and then this action happens every minute. Uh, some of you who transacted on Amazon have noticed that if you keep an item in your cart, for example, more than an hour, the price may change. We are the ones who are driving these price changes. You, you would see that certain products getting advertised. We are the ones who are behind all this. So a quick overview of how all these things work. Uh, at the end, it's all about the data and the algorithms. We start with the fact that we collect the data about the market, we collect the data about the pricing, we understand demand, we understand competition. It com co comes all together, a huge amount of data. It's being analyzed, being processed, being run by the algorithms to realize uh, how exactly things should be uh, analyzed and how the decisions are being made. That leads to a business growth. And this business growth uh, is what makes Feedvisor what it is today. So uh, to, to sum it up, we, we are the company that owns the decision making of the online retailers that uh, primarily transact through the marketplaces or other highly competitive channels. The, the market is really huge. The online marketplace today is 900 billion, and this market is growing 20 to 30 percent. Unlike the online commerce growing only 15 percent, the online marketplaces, they, they're booming. Uh, a few words about the, co uh, the company, and then I'll, I'll finish here. Founded in 2011, we have offices in New York and Tel Aviv. We're about 100 people. Um, we're backed by General Catalyst, one of the best businesses uh, out there. Uh, we manage today 2 billion of GMV. Of GMV. We have about some way to grow to, to cover the whole trillion. That's about it. Thank you very much.